Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and dedicated dad. In this week's vlog, I'm all about getting you fit. And so I've always showed you how I would work out with my Sifu, but we never got in depth with that. Before I take you in, shout out to the comments of last week. El Kashimiro on the top comment saying he likes my new track with Mark Villa. I am super happy you do. And shout out to Kevu with the number two comment. And uh, this is a really good question. Obviously, I'm one of the older guys. I'm, uh, I just recently turned 41. In this vlog, you will see me celebrating my birthday. But I'm not one of the oldest. Guys like David Guetta, Tiesto, Carl Cox, they're significantly older and they're still keeping up. So I have no answer to your question as well. I'll try and I hope I can keep up DJing much, much longer for you. And I'm only able to pull this off being a laid back Luke fit. So I'm going to take you out to France right now and we'll start this workout vlog right here. So we just arrived in France. We're staying at the airport, which is pretty convenient. So what we'll do right here, we're gonna exclusively let you into one of our uh, workouts, pretty much a fitness like warming up type of deal where we work the whole body. Today we have one for you, tomorrow we have another one as well, and I'll have my Sifu who knows incredible workouts. Take me through those and you can join us. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is warm up a little bit. So we're just gonna loosen up the arms and the uh, hip joints and the back a little bit. Now we're gonna do some exercises. So we're gonna do two for the arms first. For the first exercise, this is something which Bruce Lee used a lot, called dynamic tension. What we need to do for this one is we need to stand straight, feet apart, everything in the middle, and then just bring the palms together and push. And keep breathing, now this is really important. So breathe in, but keep pushing. And that's about 30 seconds. So exercise number two for the arms. We're gonna go down just in a regular push-up position. Okay, but with the feet spread out nice and wide. And all I wanna do is just roll like this and back. And roll and back. Roll your shoulder down, bend the arm that you're standing on. Now with this one, we need to bend the base leg first. And then now we're gonna lift this leg and we're gonna go 10, nine, eight. What's really important on this one, turn the foot out a little. Like don't do this, right? See how my knee has gone inside like that? That's bad. Next leg exercise we're gonna do, you see both feet flat, shoulder width apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up one foot, put it on the ball. And then what I'm gonna try to do is bring that knee as close to the floor as possible without touching. Okay, and then I'm gonna stand up, the other leg, put the foot up on the ball, drop that knee as close to the floor as possible. So you see here, you're standing one foot flat, one foot in the ball. And we're just gonna do 10 of these. Sit-ups is a good way to start working the abdominal muscles, but it doesn't really go deep enough. So we need to go a little deeper. <laughs> We're gonna sit down. Now put your hands out behind you, 45 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring one by one. We're gonna bring the foot to the head. Foot to the head. Foot to the head. Until you get to about 20. Then it gets quite heavy. So let's make 20 your first goal. Now for those guys of you who think that's too easy, you guys just do it with two legs. 
you see, like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our hands in front of us. Bring the knees to the hands and then put them back out. If you, if you can't lean like this, what you do is slip yourself back, put your shoulders against the wall, okay? And then try to bring the knees. And you want to again do about 20 or 30 of these if you can. If you're already training quite a lot and you're quite fit, then you might think that's quite easy. So I'll show you guys one that's a little bit more difficult. So you need to have your hands like that in line with your shoulders. And now you try to bring the shin to the hands and keep the legs straight. showing you that last exercise um, try to find this position first for the body okay because you need to keep the body static okay and actually eventually you don't even move the body you just move the legs instead of what we get we get most of the time is this which is a double crunch kind of movement so a little bit of Shaolin fitness right here. I just went through it one round, which was very heavy for me as well. So let's try and do three rounds of this, and I'm sure you're going to feel it tomorrow. Um, I'm having my show right now. We're, we're going to take off. Uh, when I speak to you next, we'll have exercise rounds number two for you. More of the Shaolin fitness. So I had a good show in France last night. It was very cool to see that uh, the, the people that were there like really went for it and they loved a, a big variety of music. What I also thought was very cool was that the promoters were actually like longtime followers of mine so they were super stoked for me to be there. But I'm super stoked to be in Switzerland as well today. But it's time for us to work out now. It's section two of the workouts we have planned for you and good news we have Justin joining us and Ashley and we're gonna ask Sifu for six other new exercises. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, an exercise for the middle. Uh, so this is for the lower back and for the core. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing the elbow from one side and the knee from the other side together like this. But then a little bit faster like this. Exercise number two is going to be just for the, car, for the, for the outer thigh. Okay. So what we want to do is just put the heels together, turn out like this. This You can do this all the time, anywhere you are. And then just tense the thigh, pop out, pop out, pop out, pop out. Number three, we need to do something for the calves. So we're actually going to try to do one leg at a time. So the best way to do this one is to find a, a wall or a corner that you can set yourself up in. And then what you need to do is take one leg off the ground. And then what you're gonna, we're going to do is we're going to push up. And what's really important, you see, is how I'm getting right up as high as possible. 
because that's what's going to actually get the calf muscle working. You see? So what we're going to do on this one is one hand facing up, one hand facing down. And then we're going to try to lift, but force the hand down. Let's say, for example, I wanted to do just this piece of the shoulder with dynamic tension, then I'm just going to push against my leg. Now you see the tricep pop, you see the shoulder pop. Okay, and again, I hold that for five seconds. Relax. Similar to what we did yesterday, we're going to lean back, okay, and then just lift the feet off the ground, and then just cross the toes, cross the toes, cross the toes. Now, if I do it like this, with, without any support, now I'm really working the whole abs from the bottom all the way to the solar plexus. Okay, so we just finished up one round. Technically, you have two more rounds to go for this. Um, yeah, and I know it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very beneficial, a little bit of an orthodox uh, workout right here, but doing this one and doing the other one we did yesterday won't take you more than 35 minutes. And so I still have a show for you on this vlog. We're going out to mad Switzerland right now. See how really mad it gets. and it was amazing so good to be back I've, I've been playing this club for years it was incredible I needed that this weekend what I do need you to realize is that how much of a privilege it is for my Sifu to share his workout knowledge with us I've been incorporating a bunch of these exercises in my daily routines and they are killer if you give it a shot put it on YouTube hashtag me into it a laidback Luke fit leave the link in the comments and I'm very excited to see how you did it. Now do realize that if you can't perform these exercises or you can't reach the amount of reps, just take one off, just take two off, just go up to your boundary and then perhaps add two. And do not be too hard on yourself either, but don't be too soft, all up to you. I am super excited for next week's vlog because uh, I've seen it in the comments and a couple of you have been asking for it. The dedicated dad and his family life changed. And next week's vlog is all about my current family life, what I do with my kids, how I manage flying all over the place. You'll see it next week. Al's up, race safely, and salute.